Hello everyone and welcome back to Coral Island. My name is Melanie V. It is now Wednesday and it is the 24th of winter. It is a very snowy day. Okay, let's go over here and check out our trees. They seem to be doing just fine. No fruit today. But because it's snowy, I don't think I'm going to let my animals out. But we will get some food put out for them. Let's get six pieces of hay. Oh, I probably should have grabbed my milker as well. Okay, yeah, we'll need to milk our goats and our cows. But first, let's get some food onto the trough. There we go. We'll go grab the milker now. No need for the shears today. We'll take that. Hopefully we can get some nice quality milk. But if not, we can always try again tomorrow. Okay, now goat is looking okay. Well, I bet if we were to milk him, <laughs> it will do even better. Oh, and goat number one gave us two milk. We appreciate that. Got a large milk and a regular milk from our cow. Milk her away and let's go ahead and make some cheese. Leave these in here for now. The narrow path is a little bit blocked. But we can make a way around. And over to the coop. My favorite birdhouse. We got a large quail egg. Well, that is definitely something that is new. So I wonder if that's something we need to donate to the goddesses bundles. We'll have to try and see if that is something. We'll need to check and see. And quail is looking okay. Three hearts. Very nice. Let's have a peek in our pack here, so it does need to be offered. Okay, we will hang on to that. Let's grab some of this stuff. And we'll get the trough filled back up. Because they're definitely going to be eating from inside today, because they're not going outside. Which makes perfect sense, doesn't it? That can go away. And let's take this large duck egg. Um, we don't need to offer that. So we're gonna go ahead and make some more mayo with this. You can go there and you guys can go right there. Maybe we should go over to see the goddess today. But right now we got some tea leaf. That is ready. Ooh, we got some osmium quality tea leaves too. I will take that. And there's one more over here that seems to be ready. I can't get over how much sprinklers we are just not using at all. But winter is over pretty soon, so we'll get to start using those again. You know what we're going to do with these tea leaves? We're going to make some more tea. Let's get these in here. So we got some green tea. Let's put that in. The machine is full. Um, can we make another keg? Uh, we certainly can. Okay, keg number two. Um, there's not really a good spot to place it. So that's gonna have to be the spot. A machine full. So for green tea, is there anything special we can do with the green tea? Uh, we can drink it. It gives 115 energy and 120 health. And that's for the gold quality one. The silver one is not as good, but I think we're going to sell both. Actually, let's hang on to the tea leaves. 
We'll just sell the green tea itself. Okay, let's set those aside in here for now. Um, we'll take some cloth from there. We got some battery packs ready. Nice. And you know what we need to fill up? We need to use up some of our trash. Let's grab some trash out of here. Fill up the recycle. We definitely need to make another recycler. I mean, look how much trash we can put in it. And look how much trash we actually still have left over. It's a lot of trash. Okay, away with you, trash. And cloth. We can sell our cloth for 375, but I think I'm gonna hang on to that. I'm not really sure what we can do with it. Okay, what do we have here? Kelp essence. What were we gonna do with this? Were we gonna upgrade our tool? Yeah, we were gonna upgrade our net or our fishing rod. So I think we needed wood and some kelp. So first we'll have to get our fishing rod back today. What can we take out of here? We have a bunch of fossils we can process. Sure, why not? Let's grab these. And we actually have earth or earth geodes. So we'll make use of that too. We are going to head over to the Lake Temple first. And place this quail egg in. Um, where does it go? On the rare branching products. Yeah, we got a bunch of rare things still to find. So we got the large quail egg. We'll also need to find some black truffle. A large llama wall. Since we haven't got a llama yet, it's going to take a while to get this one. A large feather. And a large geisha coffee bean. Where do we find coffee beans? Okay, that is something we're going to have to look out for. Well, we got one thing donated at least. And over to the woodlands we shall go. Jack. So we did put in our site to upgrade yesterday. It's going to take three more days. But in the meantime, let's process some geodes. Uh, fire agate. Bronze ore. Marganite? Morganite. I don't know if any of that stuff is new. What else can we do here? Mm, we don't need anything else. We can't upgrade our tool. It'll be ready in two days. I can't wait. We are going to go see Linga next. Because we do have some geodes here. Or some fossil nodes. Not geodes. That we can process. Okay, Ling, are you open today? She's not at her desk, but we'll still process these fossils. A Velociraptor's leg. I think we already got that. Some stone. What? A Tyrannosaurus's spine. That might be new. A Tyrannosaurus's arm. And just a regular bone. Got some kelp, a triceratops arm, a velociraptor spine, another one. We've already got one of those before. A stegosaurus spine, a galim, a galimus dorso. I've never even heard of that feature. Stego leg, and some bone. Hooray! Not quite what we wanted, but I think we might have gotten a few new items. So, let's go to the museum. Who's this guy? Peanut. Okay. See you, Peanut. Mm, I think I'm actually gonna go to Sam's. See if we can purchase some seeds. Not that it really... Oh, 
the shop is closed. Why? Oh, it's Wednesday. Of course it's closed. Uh, okay, I guess we'll come back tomorrow. It's kind of late in the season to plant anything anyway, so it doesn't matter. Let's check out the errand board. Urgent request from Frank is looking for one egg. Just two days left. You know what? We're going to take that. Hey, Ben. You know, once I'm all snuggled up in bed, I barely notice how cold it is. It's kind of nice, actually, to sleep when it's freezing cold out. As long as I don't freeze, that's all I ask. I agree, that's the one thing about winter I like, is actually getting into my covers and snuggling under the blanket. It's so nice. We will collect some forgeables here. And we are gonna go over to the museum. Get some stuff donated. Hopefully we have a few new items in here we can donate. Okay. I'm gonna... Oh, yeah, we do. The Velociraptor spine. The Stegosaurus the spine. The Gal... Gali... The Limamus? Yeah, never heard of that creature. <laughs> the Tyrannosaurus spine and arm. And we also got the Fire Agate. So we're now up to 177 donations. I like it. Let's look at the collection rewards. So still, we still need to find three more water gems and two more earth gems. Then we can get those fancy hats. Yeah, we'll need to go back into the caverns. Into the earth shaft and into the water shaft. But right now, back to the farm, we shall go. And I'm just gonna go ahead and sell these items. Like this morganite, the granite, granite, velociraptor's leg, stegosaurus leg, the bone we'll hang on to. Um, I wonder if there's anything else we can do with these items. I don't actually know, but we're selling them right now. Bone can go here, stone can go there. We actually have a ton load of bronze now, so we should probably make some bronze bars. Because that's kind of why we went searching for bronze. So we can make more bars. In you go. Okay, we should make some more stuff on our extractor as well. What do we have tons of? A lot of silver kelp. Let's get 50 pieces of this. That is three too many. And we'll also need some glass. And whilst we're at it, we might as well get some more scraps made into glass. Let's do that. Put that away. Okay. We'll throw this up here too. Perfect. And silver kelp. We're going to use that to upgrade our tool, but we also needed to take some wood. Let's grab some from this pile here. And then we'll head down to the beach shack. I think that's all we needed was the wood and the kelp essence. Over to the pier. Hopefully the beach shack is open today. It is. Hello, Sunny. Okay, let's retrieve our tool. So we got a bronze fishing pole. And we are going to go ahead and upgrade our net. Should we do our net or should we do the fishing pole again? Used to catch fish, great for the casual angler. What does the difference do though? Um, let's go with the net. 5,000. Oh boy. <laughs> All these tool upgrades. Getting very costly. And we're not selling that much stuff. Maybe when we get back to the farm, we'll sell some of our essence off. Let's take some trash out of there. 
And I kind of want to try our new fishing rod. Maybe it will cause us to find less trash. Who knows? Let's give it a go right here. Are we going to see any fishies? Come on in, fishies. There we go. There's one. Oh, he's excitable. This is an actual fish. Because the trash doesn't usually fight back. <laughs> that would be kind of weird if it did. Oh, got it. A lobster. Okay, not that exciting. It's a big lobster, though. So we'll have to see how much that sells for. Um, where else can we fish? We can fish right here. Let's see what we can find over here. Might need to fish on our farm as well. Come on in, fishies. I would like something nice and new that we have not had before. Oh, this guy is an ornery fish. Calm down. Don't be so feisty. So sometimes he's calm and then sometimes he's crazy. I uh, got him a brown trout. I don't think we've seen that before. Hey Yuri, I didn't get to sleep until 3 a.m. and now I'm absolutely drained. Well, you should head home and get a little nap. Why did you stay up till 3 a.m., I wonder? Well, it's probably none of my business. <laughs> okay, so we got a brown trout. Oh, we've already donated a brown trout. We haven't donated a lobster, so I was wrong. Thought we already caught one before, but apparently not. Let's sell this. Actually, I wonder if I can put this in my keg, a tea berry. Let's hang on to it and see. Yeah, we got some Brussels sprouts. Well, let's try sticking that in here. Okay, our kegs are full. What about into the mason jar? Oh, we can put the Brussels sprouts into the mason jar. And we can put the tea berry into the mason jars too. That is so good. Okay, you sell some more tea. Hopefully that makes us some good cash. And I'm gonna sell some of my gold kelp. Even though we're gonna be needing it soon, we got quite a bit of just regular kelp we're gonna be able to process and extract. So we can go ahead and sell that, make some more money back. It's almost 6 p.m. I guess we can take a little trip over to the mines. We do need to cut some more geodes. I think we'll go into the water shaft today. I brought my fishing rod with me. I didn't really need to, but I did. Let's go down to floor 30. And then down to floor 31. Okay, what are we going to find? Um, we're not going to find any bronze here. The water shaft has silver on it. But we're not looking for ores right now. I just really want to find some geodes. So we're going to just break some random rocks. I wonder if any of these monsters drop geodes. Let's see. Let's check out our bestiary. Um, not seeing any drops for the actual geodes. So I guess we can only find the geodes in the actual rocks. Well, in that case, we're gonna break some rocks. We got a baddie following us. Let's take this guy out. Oh, he's the jumper. Leave me alone, jumpy. He's a goner. 
got some monster essence. And I have no idea what we can actually do with monster essence. We've definitely collected quite a bit over all of our trips into the mine. So maybe we should sell some of that as well. Because I haven't found a use for it quite as yet. Mm, more geodes, please. Ah, here we go. We got our first geode of the day. Um, is this baddie wearing a toque? <laughs> oh, I love it. That's great. I'm a big fan of wearing toques. Okay, come out, geodes. Show yourself. One is not gonna be enough. We need lots more of these. I wonder if there's a particular type of rock that tends to drop more geodes than not. I definitely have noticed any particular patterns when it comes to the rocks, but I haven't really been actively trying to find any patterns. I also wonder, like, I've already opened up the ladder down, is it possible to get another ladder? Oh, it's just one per four. Oh, got a fossil node, we'll take that. Got two fossil nodes, two different types though. Come on, geodes. I need more water geodes, like a lot more. Okay, well, it is almost 10.30 and we've only been to one floor this whole day. We did start kind of late though. Yeah, we've broken a majority of the rocks on this floor. And I don't see a second stairway down, so I'm gonna have to assume that it's just one per four. Which is just fine, because we don't need to go down in multiple spots if we already have one. I'm very disappointed in the geo drop rate though. I need more geodes, please. How else am I gonna complete? collection of the museum. There's just a couple more rocks here. It's almost midnight. Let's get these all broken just to be sure. That is just one for four. The baddie is definitely coming hard at me, but I'm not too concerned. Let's go ahead and take him out. Got him! And we'll head down to the next floor. We're not gonna stay too long because we are running late on time. And we're being harassed by a bee. Okay, it's almost 1 a.m. We gotta go. We gotta get out of here. Oh, was I poisoned? <laughs> and off to the farm we shall go. Maybe we'll sell some more mayo. Grab some of this stuff. 
That's not quite ready yet. We can take care of that in the morning though. Mayo, gone. Water essence. Yeah, let's sell it. And we'll definitely keep our geodes. But before we go to bed, I am going to make some more bronze bars. Let's stick that right here. In you go. And to bed we shall go. Let's call it a day. Did we level up anything today? Uh, nothing today, but we did make quite a bit of money. 6,780 coral coins. Pretty good. And I think that's going to be it for today's episode. Thank you very much for watching.